So hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Ginger Fisherman. Once again I'm out after pike underwater using the underwater camera, single hook, uh, single hook rig, uh, which is pretty much what I always do if I'm chucking out a live bait. Uh, it's only if, let's say I'm using a bigger bait and I'm targeting a really big fish that I found that I might want to stick a couple of trebles in just to uh, make sure I get that catch. Um, but yeah, focusing on the underwater takes, once again, seeing them absolutely destroy the bait. It's really fun to watch underwater. I know the majority of you guys really like that kind of thing. So that's why I'm putting out one more. I might give it a break then for a little bit, maybe focus on some law fishing, maybe target perch and uh, pike in a different way. Or maybe do a bit of bait fishing, maybe try stalking perch with worms, something like that. But um, for this video, definitely, it's going to be some underwater takes. I really enjoy filming this kind of video, the underwater stuff. Um, it's actually quite a lot of hard work uh, trying, trying to get the footage. Uh, the majority of the fish are, are target uh, jacks because if you ever find one above, let's say six pound, um, getting a camera in front of them and a bait and getting them to take it is nigh on impossible. To get a 10 pounder to take it in front of the camera, I think I've done it once successfully and um, that's, that's been it. <laughs> Mainly, it's, if you find anything decent, they don't want to. They don't want to know in front of the camera. So that's why the majority of the fish and the bait fish I use are very small. The live baits I use are average between one and three ounce. There's one of my live baits now. They are a little chill, probably only about an ounce and a half. Um, I've caught a few, only two or three little live baits today to use. This one I'm just going to wang out down the edge because. I'm itching to get fishing and I can't wait to get out of there and get some fish on the bank and get some of that footage but for now I can stick that down the edge because I'm sure there's probably a perch down here somewhere I can enjoy it. Now I have absolutely no idea whether I got like a take on camera or not because uh, I actually lost my camera during the fight or I don't know if it was just before uh, it fell into the water like disappeared and I couldn't find it so I've had this fish resting just while I quickly found my camera and thankfully I found it so now it's time to get her unhooked or him unhooked because he's only a jack once again on the single hooks whenever it comes to live baiting I always always use singles Maybe tangled in the net a little bit, but it's right in the scissor. That's where we like it. Oh, there we go. There are hooks out. It's only a jack. Board a very, very beautiful jack. You guys know me when it comes to my pike fishing. It doesn't really matter what size they are. As long as they look good and they give me a fantastic scrap in there and they look amazing underwater. That's all I'm bothered about. Beautiful looking fish. I get him back quickly and uh, he's going to be one of the ones spawning with the females this winter, making some lovely babies. Some of you guys might be wondering what kind of setup I'm using. It's um, actually my light, well I, I class it as ultra light, a lot of you guys are just class it as a standard light setup for perch and pike. Uh, standard low setup, spinning rod, very short, easy for me to carry around. You'd have recognised it from other videos, there'll be a link of that to the description. Um, fishing fairly light, 
as I say, single hook rig. You might be able to tell, these are my brand new waders. The last waders I had were um, horrendous. I think every single session just got either another hole or two, to the point where it was probably only used as a spaghetti strainer at the minute. Um, so I've got these ones on, which are actually fantastic. I'll leave a link in the description. So far, I've fallen in oh, at least five times now, where I've slipped down the bank into the water. And um, still, no holes. There's no holes. So I'm going to leave a description. These ones are a lot better. They cost a little bit more than my cheap ass 30 something pound ones that I bought. But um, hey, doing job so far. Last ones I had, I actually um, ripped them the first time I went out. Best check that rod, make sure I've not got something on the end. And definitely know I've got that take on camera. See, this is what happens when I rest them in the net. Ugh. Right, not gonna kick now. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. Once again, it's not a monster, but um, a good looking fish nevertheless. Really nice on the uh, live bait. Single hook came out in the net. As always, I've had it resting. Right, I'm going to show you where the hookup is on this actually, because um, you guys want to know when it comes to singles. So you can see there, it's right up the corner. Right on the corner. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave them resting. I don't even need forceps to get this one out. Or pliers. There we go. And there we are. Beautiful pike. Once again on the live bait. Single hook. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. Absolutely perfect, and a beautiful little fish. Get it back.
Now this is one of those fish that I really like to catch. Proper greedy little fish. <laughs> Probably only a pound and a half. But look how greedy he is. Really chomp rat. Right. Got my forceps attached to me. Out of all the fish I've caught recently, this one's taken it the deepest out of all of them and it's the smallest fish I've had. There we are, look, hook out. Bait's in its mouth, you know what, I'll leave, leave the bait in there, man. Go out to eat that, but what a greedy little bugger. I absolutely love these little guys. Beautiful little jackpike. <laughs> 